Hey, how's it going today? Hope everybody had a good Christmas. Um, on this channel, we talk a lot about you know tips and tricks and and how to make things easier and get things the way you want them to look. Um, if you've been around and been using Stable Diffusion for a while, you're probably familiar with Laura's. Um, if you're if you're new to it, you may be wondering what one is, and they're incredibly useful for you know narrowing down the style that you're looking for. A Laura, to put it simply, the a Laura training model makes it easier to train Stable Diffusion on different concepts, such as uh, certain types of characters or a specific style. So what we're going to work on today is we're going to we're going to go and download a, a Laura and we're going to put it into our Focus program, and I'm going to show you how this can save you a lot of time and and prompting. Um, and it'll fine tune a model and give you styles that you're looking for. This is a really cool thing. And if, if you're new to this, um, this will make a big difference in the models that you're putting out in Stable Diffusion. So let's get started. So a, a really great place to find, um, you know, Laura's base models, checkpoints, all kinds of, of stuff that you can use in your Stable Diffusion is a website called Civitai. I think that's how it's pronounced, but it, it, this is the link right up here. And I'll post this down in my... Uh, description for you but you can go over here and on the right hand side here that we got a drop down menu and we're going to be looking right now just for Laura's um, in other videos we'll cover checkpoints and different things but today we're just talking about Laura's so we've got that checked um, and one thing that you'll find out on this page and, and you know a whole bunch of other pages is that it's going to be a lot show a lot of anime and a lot of adult content. So I apologize for that, but you kind of have to filter your way through that. Um, but these Lauras are all specifically designed to achieve a certain result. Um, I went and searched out some earlier before I started this video, and I found one that I really liked. It was a, uh, a Jim Lee comic style. I like Jim Lee's art style. He uh, works for DC Comics and he has a style that, you know, when you see his work, you know it's his. So um, I like to work with a lot of comic stuff when I'm messing with Stable Diffusion. So this Laura right here fits right in. Let's go ahead and click on it. And when it opens up, it brings you to their page. And you can scroll through and see some of the images that are, you know, these are example images. And if you uh, click on one of these images, they'll give you the prompt that they used to get this image and then the negative prompting as well. So, you know, if you want to experiment, you can start off with one of their prompts and then, you know, adjust it to your character, or you can make your own prompt completely, but at least it gives you something to work with here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to download this. We're going to be on their, their main page here and this little drop down arrow uh, downloads the model and we're going to save that and we're going to install it into Focus. So now that we have that uh, Laura downloaded, we're going to go to our main folder where Focus is installed. And once we open that up, we're going to click on Focus here and it gives us a set of subfolders. Uh, we're going to look down here until we find the folder that's called Models. And we're going to open that up. And inside of Models, this is where all your different types of models are going to be upscalers, Laura's and such. Uh, diffusers. We're going to look for the Laura's folder here. And once we got the Laura's folder open, we're going to open up our downloads folder or wherever you opened it up or wherever you saved that Laura to. And I'm going to just simply cut that one out of my downloads file and I'm going to paste it into my Laura's folder here. So now we're going to go ahead and open up Focus and that Laura will now be installed. And we're going to run a couple of test images here. So once we're on the main page here for Focus, let's go and click the Advanced tab here. Um, I'm going to start with just uh, kind of a 9 by 16 shot here. Um, go over to the tab that says Model. And this first Laura is the uh, default that it loads up. We're going to just leave that one on there for now because that that's your basic setup that gives you your, you know, your overall clear pictures and everything. This is a good overall Laura. You can turn it off later and put a different one in this place. But for now, we're just going to leave that on. We're going to drop down to the second slot here to the Laura. 
And we're going to look for that lure that we just downloaded. And here it is right here, the Jim Lee offset. So we're going to click on that. Now I'm going to back the weight down to, you know, in the 50 to 60 range on that. Um, you can go up higher, but the higher you go, sometimes you, it'll overpower what you're looking for. And, you know, it's better to start lower and work your way up. So let's just start with a simple basic prompt here. Um, let's say superhero um, standing in a desert, just something really simple and generic. Now we're going to put in here Jim Lee art style. And that'll be a trigger that'll set this lore off. There's certain words that will actually turn the lore on. So let's just hit a, a generate on that and see what we get. So this first run just gave us a, a basic superhero, obviously Superman. Um, but it doesn't look real cartoony. It, it looks kind of uh, just actually really not that good. Well, what we want to do is go over to our style section and make sure that we have our uh, comic tabs selected. I, I go ahead when I'm doing them and I run comic and anime both. Um, unless you specifically, you know, tell it down here that you want an anime character, it usually just gives you more of a comic character. So let's go ahead and run that now and see if it makes any difference. So now we got a really good comic book image and, um, I don't know what, how we ended up with like a super Batman here, but, uh, we were very generic in our, our prompt down here. We were basically just, you know, doing a simple prompt to show how this Laura works. Um, you know, if you go a little bit more detailed in your prompt down here, you can get whatever character you're looking for, or even, you know, the one that you might've designed yourself. But what you can see here is this Laura gave us a really good, really good comic book image. And uh, that's what we were looking for. You're going to find some of these Laura's give you uh, high quality photography. Like I, I found a couple of Laura's on there that, when I'm trying to do realistic portraits and such, it, it really makes the skin look real. So um, it's kind of fun. Um, just take the time and go on in there and explore on that, that web page that I showed you, that Civitai, and look around at the different Loras and stuff. Um, you're going to find some stuff that, you know, might be exactly what you're looking for. And if, if uh, you're not finding what you're looking for, there is a search across the top here. And, you know, you can search for the certain types of lures. Like if you were just wanting comics, if you type in, you know, in the search bar, it's going to pull up everything related to comic. But we see there's a lure here that's comics. Here's an anime lure here. It tells you in the upper left-hand corner whether it's a checkpoint or a lure. Um, but there's some really good ones here. Like this would be a good one if you were doing the old, like, uh, Scooby-Doo comics and stuff like that. Um, this is one that's more for your modern, like dark horse or some of the comics like that. So anyway, it's fun to experiment with. And, uh, uh, I hope this helps you out a little bit and maybe help you understand Laura's. And like I said, in a later video, we'll talk about checkpoints and, and things like that, that gets a little bit more complicated. So, uh, just wanted to pop out a quick video here after Christmas. Um, uh, hope this helps you out and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.